Hello there, I'm your host Dan Rojas. Using this simple basin of water, I will simulate gravity's effect on a siphon using inertia, while also simulating how centrifugal pumps work. This is polyethylene tubing attached to a driver bit held in place with zip ties attached to a cordless drill. Eye protection is a necessity for this project. When one end of the tube is placed in the water, nothing happens until, just like a regular water pump, the tube is primed. As the tube spins, the outer portion has increased gravitational pull from apparent centrifugal force from the water's inertia resulting in the water being siphoned out in what appears to be random directions, but is actually straight lines as the water exits the tubing. The volume of liquid transferred out of the basin increases or decreases as the rotational speed is increased or decreased. These four larger diameter pieces of tubing are similar to a pump's impeller with four vanes. Because the tubing is a bit shorter in length, it is self-priming, allowing these four tubes to remove or pump away three gallons of water per minute with this small drill. A longer piece of tubing spinning away from the axis would travel at a higher velocity, resulting in an even more gravitational pull from inertia. But due to the length and water weight, the tubing just wraps around the drill bit, making a messy but very effective mixing blade. The result is a water vortex that simulates the rotation of a tornado. This looks really cool in slow motion. This is a simple way to demonstrate how apparent centrifugal force from inertia can drive a siphon simulating increased gravity and also have fun with the water vortex. I'm your host Dan Rojas. Thank you for watching and enjoy our videos.